WBAY TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News at 5 starts now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. Classes are canceled again tomorrow at Oshkosh West High School in the wake of yesterday's officer involved shooting. Classes will go on as scheduled Thursday for other schools in that district. We have more details with those plans at WBAY.com. And this coming as new details emerge about the incident, which left a 16 year old student and a school resource officer injured. State identified that officer this morning as Michael Wissink. He's been an officer with the Oshkosh Police Department for 21 years and a school resource officer since 2017. As we first told you on Tuesday, police say Wissing shot the student after that student stabbed him. Both are expected to be okay. We also obtained new surveillance video today showing students running from the high school as the situation was unfolding and seeking shelter at a nearby mosque. And once you're near the bottom of your right corner of your screen, now one of the students punched in the lock code, bringing everyone safely inside the building. Continuing coverage tonight, Brittany Schmidt sat down with that brave 17 year old as she reflects on her actions yesterday. You never think it's going to happen in your school. It was just crazy. It just it didn't register. It just like I couldn't happen. 17 year old Adua Aman still code. replaying Monday morning's officer involved like shooting in her head, not getting much sleep last night. No, I mean, I slept at like maybe 2 a.m. I was so I was jittery. I was oh my God, like what happened? She says one minute she is in AP English literature and the next we just heard a gunshot and originally we just thought it was doors slamming but it definitely wasn't. The only command we got was to run. So the students ran. They ran all the way across the street here to the mosque where that camera caught her leading the way. I knew the code. I just ran and punched the code and, and let everybody in. Dua says on the inside, she was freaking out. It was terrifying. I did not know what happened. But she still found a way to help others. There were a bunch of people huddling near the door. Of course, I said, you guys go downstairs. You guys can spread out. Dua let in about 100 students, some she didn't even know. Not all of them, though. No. Then she called her dad, a financial secretary at the mosque. I don't know what happened. My teacher just said to run. I let everybody to the mosque. We're all here. And he said, OK, I'm coming. Sounded quite distressed at that time that all she said was something has happened in the school. And then she had uh, led a lot of kids into the mosque. Within five minutes, Saad Ahmad got to the mosque to help. So they were quite composed. I think they've done some drills and stuff like that. Some, of course, some kids were distressed. There, Some were crying and stuff like that, but that is to be expected. But there was no panic or anything like that. Saad says he is impressed with his daughter's quick actions. I forget the quote on normal days. <laughs> so how was she able to, you know, stay composed and definitely proud of her? Because, uh, you know, again, not to panic, uh, that kind of situation. Uh, stay composed. That's all you can ask for in that kind of situation. He's also happy his family's place of worship served as a safe place for all students to gather during such a frightening time. I'm sure that any any facility, any business in Oshkosh or any uh, would have done the same. So I don't think that's uh, that is in any way remarkable. You know, that's Wisconsin and that's Oshkosh. So uh, we just happen to be here, and uh, I am glad that it made that hour comfortable for some people. Some people, the Ahmads didn't even know. And even if you never talked to those people again, you still offered kindness and of comfort. Course, yeah. It's the right thing to do. So you never know how you're going to react in that situation until it actually happens. And I'm, I'm just proud of the way that I reacted. In Oshkosh, Brittany Schmidt. I was in the right place at the right time in the worst situations. Action 2 News.